Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. Doing good. So I think everybody's connecting right now. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you once again. So we're going to wait for your friends to connect. Hello, Mr. Santos, Oscar, Nady, Catherine, Luis. Hello, Lydia. Hello, Rosa. Hello, Paola, Alicia, Rosa Maria, Walter, Fatima. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, Alicia. It's a pleasure to see you once again. Well, I am going to share my screen with everybody so we can start the class. Okay, so now that I have you there, hello, Mr. Jaime, welcome. So we're going to make a very, very quick survey. How was your weekend? Good? Bad? So-so? Yes, fine. Excellent. You say there on the camera, you can answer. Good? Bad? So, so. Hello, Ana Maria. Good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Rocio. Hello, Mr. Walter, William, Tania. Excellent. Hello, Maria. Hello. hello. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. We are going to start the class by getting a little bit of things. We're going to get some things. So, check around you. Vean ahí alrededor las cosas que tienen, because I am going to ask you for different things. I need you to show me in the camera. So everybody has to open the cameras. I need you to show me in the camera something red. Show me something red. Something red. Show me something red. Good, good, very good. You got something red. Anything. <laughs> yeah, chili pepper. <laughs> good, William. Yeah, you have the chili there. Imagine your wife poniéndole ahí a los frijoles. Hey, mi chili. <laughs> something red. Hey, good, very nice. Now, show me something blue. Something blue. Hey, I have my mouse. Well, my mouse is blue, but here you cannot see it. Very my well. wallet. It's blue. Very good. Something blue. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a jeans, a pair of jeans. Oh, That's blue. cool. Very good. <laughs> there you go. the, the juice. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, very good. Okay. The base of hey, go, bitter, go, What is that? It's the, the mentolito. <laughs> cool. Very good. It's the vaporu. Show me something black. Ah, my bottle, it's black. Very good. Something black. The phone, very good. Show me something beautiful. <laughs> I love this because everybody's like. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent a picture. job. <laughs> a picture of me. It's a, a picture, very good. My children. Oh, yeah, that's the most beautiful thing. A picture of my children. It's like, ah, ah something beautiful, my kids. <laughs> there you go. So uh, it was nice. And I asked you to, uh, to look for these things because you investigated about demonstratives, right? Aha, uh -huh. so that's why I started yes. the class asking you for the different things that you had around. Demonstratives are very commonly used with uh, objects, right? You use demonstratives with objects, and that's why I ask you to get different objects because we're going to use them later in the class. Let me share my screen with everybody so we can actually see the presentation, okay? Let me see here. Let me just make a quick movements. Okay, okay. So, how much did you investigate about the topic? A lot? A little bit? Yes. A lot. Okay, so, cool. 
my Zoom. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I think it was just frozen. <clears throat> Who can tell me a little bit of the investigation you did about demonstratives? Anybody? ¿Qué investigaron? A ver si investigaron o no investigaron. Ajá, uh -huh, my dear students. It's about to show or to talk about things. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's uh, something yeah. that you use when you talk about things. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? This or that. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, you is, say, is uh, over there. The thing is over there. Very nice. Hello? Yes, I am here. I am just having. I was having difficulties with the with the internet connection because it was kind of a slow. But now I can listen to you perfectly. So when you use these, that, these, and those, for sure you use them to talk about objects, right? You use them to talk about objects that may be near or far. If you say, for example, hey and you are showing me something that you have on your hands, it is this, yeah. right? This. But if you are, <laughs> okay, I feel like if I am in the middle of suspense, right? When I am like, ah, 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 and I continue sharing. Okay, so in this case, that is for objects that are far, far from you, right? Very, very far from you, that. And for the plurals, you use these this. and this. those, right? These and those. Great. So let's go here with some of the examples. I am going to give you some of the examples with the objects that you found. You can say, well, this is my cell phone. You say, this is my cell phone because you have it in your hand, right? But if it is far from you, you say, that is my cell, right? If it is not on your hands, it's that. For uh, plurals, you say, uh, these with T-H-E-S-E -E, and those T-H-O-S-E and it is also for the plural forms. These is for objects that are close to you. No, I am here. I am here but it's I am having difficulties with my internet. Here I go. Yay. Finally. Okay. I am going to share my screen with everybody. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I think everybody's going to, everything is going to be correct now. Give me one second just to fix this. Here we go. Okay. Here it is. Okay, Miss Rocio, tell me. Yes, Rocio? Your microphone, honey. Demonstrative pronouns are pronouns that point to a specific of object uh, and something <clears throat> included on, neither, and such. Very good, very good job, right? That is basically about demonstratives, right? And this is specifically what we were studying in the previous class and that was exactly the homework. Thank you very much, Rocio for clarifying uh, the investigation that you did on the demonstratives. Excellent job. So here I have a, a little exercise to start or night, okay? So I need you please, I need you please to get your notebook. I need you to get your notebook and to write these three names, Rodney, Tina, and Ellen, right? You have these three names. I am going to play the listening for you to check different information about the people that are here mentioned in the exercise, okay? So you have a job, uh, the job that they do, what time does the person get up, what time does the person get home, and what time does the person go to bed, okay? So we are going to basically uh, listen two times the audio, and I need you to get the information about these three people, okay? Ready? Yes. Perfect. So let me know if you can listen to the audio. 
with a like, please. I'm going to, to try it. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. Can you listen to the audio? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I have Rodney, Tina, and Ellen. I need you please to check the job that they do, what time do they get up, what time they get home, and what time do they go to bed. Pay attention and listen. I'm going to play the audio two times. Go ahead. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Very good job. Did you get the answers? If you need to listen again, you can just tell me. Teacher, I need to listen again. No? Is it perfect? It's okay. Excellent. So we're going to go over the answers of the exercise. Well, Rodney's occupation is a chef, right? Yeah. He's a chef. <clears throat> what about Tina? What is her occupation? Manager. Office manager. She's an office manager. Office manager. Office manager. And Ellen? Flight attendant. She's a flight attendant, right? She's a flight attendant. How do you write flight attendant? I know, but how do you write it? Assistant. Flight attendant, right? Very good. At what time? What time does Rodney get up? At 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. Tina at 7 oh. and Ellen? 6 a.m. 5 a.m. Before, before 5. So at 5 a.m. Uh -huh. What time does Rodney get home? At 11. At 11 p.m., right? 11. Remember, in the platform, for example, they ask you to write these words in written form, right? It says at 11, right? In this case, 11 a.m., right? So you have to write the number of, but in, in words, right? At 11 a.m. What about, no, no, no. 
What time he gets home? 11 p.m., right? A la, a la 11 de la mañana. <laughs> 11 mm -hmm. p.m., right? And mm -hmm. what about Tina? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., right? At 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. And what time do they go to bed? Midnight. Different times. Midnight. At different times. What about Rodney? One. One, one, in, one in the morning. Imagine if you go to bed at one in the morning. It's like, and you enter to work at five the next day. No. Yeah. What about yeah. Tina? Ten. Ten. One. Midnight. Well, she goes to bed midnight. at midnight, right? Midnight. Midnight. Midnight is medianoche. And the last one? Ten. ten, ten. ten. Helen, ten about p. 10 p.m. Very good. Helen goes to bed at 10 p.m. Now, what about you? What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? 11 p.m. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. At different times, right? Yeah, depending. At midnight. At midnight, right? I think it's very <laughs> common to end up doing everything at midnight, right? It's like you have to do so, so many at things. 6 p.m. Right? At, at 6. <laughs> And you have to be here at 10. Come on. <laughs> okay. So uh, that was just a little practice on the listening. This is one of the listenings that you can find in the exams in the platform, right? So if you did it already, then uh, you can just clarify that you did the things correctly. Here, I am going to ask you a question. I am going to ask you a question. What is your favorite color from these ones that we have here? Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Red. Blue. Uh -huh. Hey, Blue. so you like my shirt today yellow. because it's yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Orange. Orange. My, great. my favorite color is red. Red, yes, uh -huh. purple. purple, 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 pink, purple. Okay, so we have yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, brown, brown. black, gray, gray, white, blue, or green. Think about your favorite. And you say, like, eh, that's my favorite color. Let me see. I'm going to ask random questions. Edwin Ernesto, what's your favorite? Uh, my favorite color is yellow. Yellow. Very good. Oscar Guardado. Oh, my God. He left. My favorite color is blue. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry that you stood up. <laughs> Catherine. My favorite color is yellow. Nady. My favorite color is blue. William. My favorite color is white. Very good. Sandra. Sandrita. Color is yellow. Yellow. Very good. Hey, so le atiné a la camisa del día. Rosa María. My favorite color is pink. Pink, very good. Erasmo. My favorite color is um, red. Red. Paola Michelle. My favorite color is yellow. Luis Monzón. My favorite color is orange. Fatima. My favorite color is blue. Okay, and Claudia. My White. favorite color is blue. Blue, okay. So, my favorite color is not yellow. My favorite color is pink. Uh, honestly, I don't like yellow, but I like this shirt. So, it's like kind of crazy. So, what does the color that you choose say about you? What is the meaning of the color that you chose? This is the meaning of the colors that we have here. For example, if you like yellow, it's because It says that you are a happy person. Orange, you are fun, right? Red, it's exciting, right? Exciting, it's like, oh my God, you are exciting. What about the next one? We have, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, pink, it's loving. Purple, mysterious. Brown, 
friendly. Black, sad. I love black. And I think that it's elegant. It's, it looks cool. Gray, boring. White, pure. That's why I have this background today. Oh, happy and pure. <laughs> Blue, truthful. Truthful, right? It's like the confiar. And green, jealous. Like Hulk. Hmm. Maybe Hulk was very jealous. That's why he was always green. So this is according to a, a survey and an investigation that people did in the United States. These are, these are the meanings of the colors uh, according to the personality, okay? Is it true with your personality? A quien le atinó la personalidad? Let's see. That if you say yes, teacher, it, it's yes. true. Yes, it's true, you say. I agree. Yes. Okay, very good. So, it's, it's true, right? I really, I really like truthful, verdadera, de confianza, right? And this one is going to take us to the next part of our topic. Here, we use colors when we are talking about different objects. And in this case, I have this little conversation here that says, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, the necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue, that blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Ah, it's so cool, right? So here we have some uses about the demonstratives. Like, for example, when you say those earrings, these red ones, say like, no, the yellow ones, okay? These, and you are showing the earrings, right? It's like, these red ones? No, these yellow ones. Look, these ones. Oh, good. Well, that, ne that necklace, right? Ese collar, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? Which one? Cual? That blue one that right blue. there. That blue one right there. How much is it? Cuanto cuesta? It's $42. That's expensive. expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Things that will never happen to me. Okay. Cosas que no nos van a pasar en estos días. Hmm. So, uh, in this case, we have the different uses of the demonstratives, right? And when you say, hey, look at those earrings. No están cerca. And it's plural. Those. These red ones, estos? No, say no, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Okay, so we're going to go back to this conversation in a second. We're going to go over a little bit on the demonstratives. How do you use it? And I know that you investigated this. This is for singular near, near right? This singular near. These and the pronunciation changes. You say these, these, and it's longer, the pronunciation. It's plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Okay, it would be like, este, estos, ese, y aquellos. Right, that will be the meaning of this, this, that, and those. Okay, the demonstratives. And this is what you investigated on uh, your homework. How about the use of one and ones? It is when you want to specify and when you have options. Imagine that I ask you, which one is your favorite marker? <laughs> It's blue. <laughs> Come on. Let me let me get another one because it's blue. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. Which one is your favorite marker? And you say, 
Which one? Which one? The gold one or the pink one? The pink one. The pink one, right? So when you have options to choose, which one is your favorite? This one or this one? Oh, the pink one, you say. This is how you use one. But if I am giving you option to choose more than one, if it's like, which ones do you want? These ones, estos, right? Because if you have more than one. And this is for plurals, for plural forms. And you use one on ones or, or ones, sorry, when talking about choosing or having more than one option. Is that your car? Which one? The blue, the red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. Okay. That is the way that you use it. So practice with me. Is that your car? Which huh? one? Is the red that one? Car? Or blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, yes, it is right? Yes, it is. No, that, it is. <laughs> no, it isn't. You say, my car is black. My car is uh, white or yellow or any other color. Or if you don't have, give me any color. It doesn't matter, right? Si no tenemos, deme uno de cualquier color. Se acepta. <laughs> give me one. So, how do you use these ones? And to be specific on the topic for today, the demonstratives, right? Ones and ones. How much is this necklace? This one. You can use the word one to specify the object. Okay. You can replace the object by the word one in this case. And in this case, how much are these earrings? How much are these? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Okay. Uh, which one? The blue one. And you choose a, an option, right? Which one? The blue one. Which ones? The yellow ones. And when you specify about the price, you say it's $42. It's $59.95. And you read it like this. You say it's $59.95. That's the way you give the prices, right? You don't say it's $5,995. No. You say it's $59.95 or it's $42, it's $1, it's $2, right? Depending on the price. What is the price of the necklace? The first price that we have here? $42. It's $42. And the $42. next one, how much are the earrings? They're $18. $18. $18. How much is the watch? $59.95. And how much how much is the dress? $42. Ah, uh, it's a little bit expensive, you say. Hmm, thank you. I will come back. <laughs> but it's a very common thing when you go and say, hey, how much, how much are the shoes? $52. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I am looking for the black ones. Yeah, we have black ones. I, I, I am, I am, I need cash. No, we use, we can accept credit cards. Don't worry, it's like, I will come back. <laughs> thank you, but no, thank you. I don't have the money. <laughs> so, uh, is it clear the replacement of use, uh, the replacement that we use one to talk about the product and ones when you talk about a plural, right? Para reemplazar el objeto del que estamos hablando. One or once, right? Remember, keep that in mind because you're going to use it. Okay, here. I have some examples that might be very useful for you. And it says, excuse me, how much are those jeans? And which ones? Do you mean these? No, the light blue ones. Oh, they are $59.95. Almost 60. Are you kidding? It's like, no, it's too expensive. The next one says, I like that backpack over there. How much is it? Which one? The red one. It's 
but this green one, it's only 22, 25. Okay, let me see it, please. In this case, which person do you think is going to buy the product? One or two? The second one. The second one, right? Because the first one says almost 60. Are you kidding? He's like, no, se está, está bromeando, vea. <laughs> $60 for the jeans? No, are you kidding? Would you pay $60 for a pair of jeans? ¿Pagarían $60 por un par de jeans? No. No. I think no. No, no, no. With $60, I can buy 20 pairs of jeans. <laughs> $60. Yeah. I will come back later. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am, I am just observing. Thank you. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you go out. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, students, I am going to be in conversation one. I am A and you are B. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? Which one? Do you mean this? Do you mean this? Uh, no, no, no. the light blue ones. Oh, oh they nice. are they are dollars. Almost sixty. Are you kidding? I'm going to come back later. Huh? It's expensive. <laughs> okay. Um, excuse me. I like that backpack. How much is it? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? The red one. It is $27.49. Okay. Let, let me see it. Is is this your final price? Yes. <laughs> what, what about what about $20? Mm, well, it's okay. 22. Ah, <laughs> uh, 21. 24. I know. I will come back later. <laughs> 24. Come on. <laughs> okay. So I need you to I need you to follow the conversation. Um, excuse me, how much is this marker? Which one? Which one? Which one? Um, do you, mean, do you mean this? Um, yeah, the 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 pink one. The pink one. It's five dollars. Five dollars. He... No, I will go to the center. They are two for one quarter. Thank you, Thank you very much. It's very expensive. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. How much, how much is this folder right here? This folder? This folder, how much? Ten cents. Ten cents. Hey, give me two. <laughs> okay, good. Now, let me see. <clears throat> I am going to give you this little exercise that I have right here. And you are going to do the same, but you have to put prices on the object. You have to put a price on the object, right? You can tell me it's $300, $100, $500, etc., etc., etc. There you have a very old cell phone and a new one, right? And you have options of vocabulary. You say, that's cheap, está barato. That's reasonable. That's okay. That's not bad or that's expensive. Whoosh, that's expensive. So you have to invent prices on the objects. We are going to start by creating the conversations for the first things that are the sunglasses. Okay, sunglasses are lente de sol. Okay, sunglasses. And how much do you want to pay for the pink ones? How much money do you want to pay for the pink one? Four hundred. Ten dollars. <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars. And this one, because they are Roy Ban. 
they are going to be 500. 120. 120. <laughs> okay, 120. Okay, okay. And what about the cell phone? This one, how much do you think it's going to be? Anything. <laughs> $25. Uh, $25. And this one? $75. $75. Okay. Just because you can open it. Click. Hello. <laughs> Let's see. Now we are going to create the conversations. I am going to do the first conversation and then I am going to ask for different volunteers. Edwin is going to help me with the first one. Edwin, are you ready? Yes, I am. <clears throat> Excuse me, how much are these sunglasses? Uh, which ones? The black ones. The black ones. Okay, they are in $120. Eee, that's very expensive. Don't you have another one that, <laughs> that it's cheaper? Uh, they are in offer. The in last offer? week was $300. <laughs> Oh my God, this is Black Friday here. What about the pink ones? Ah, uh, well, the pink ones, they are in $10. Okay, I am going to take the pink ones, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, here you're Here you welcome. have your money. Here you have. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ellie, very good job. Very nice job. Very nice. So, we're going to have Mr. William and Catherine. You are going to go with the sunglasses. Go ahead. Okay. Which one? Okay. Hello. How much are those sunglasses? Hello, oh, which one? The black glasses? The black are $120. That is a expensive. Do you have another glasses? Yeah, we have the this one, this pink one. Okay, that is uh, cheap. That's cheap, you say. That's cheap. Okay, I prefer those ones. Very good job. Thank you very much. Great job. Now we are going to go with Rosa Esmeralda and Jaime. How much are these sunglasses? Which one? Uh, um, the pink. The pink uh, one. The pink. The pink ones. The pink ones are ten dollars. Uh, that expensive. <laughs> That's expensive. That's okay. <laughs> That's expensive, Mr. Jaime. Oh, oh, oh sorry. It's, it's anti-cute. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, anti the glasses. But they are other glasses. A, a black, black glasses. Mm -hmm. your, pri your price is $20. Is $120. Um, that's... That um reasonable. That's reasonable. <laughs> okay, so she wants the original ones. She wants the original. <laughs> yeah, she wants the, the black ones. The black ones is original. The black ones Ray -Ban. Are original. The black ones are, you say. The black ones are original. So she is going to take the black ones. You see, <clears throat> she has the money. Thank you very much, Rosa. You have the money. You have to pay it. Very good. Give the money to the gentleman, please. Maria Delia and Navy with the cell phones. Um, okay. Cell phone. How much are these uh, cell phones? The microphone. Maria Delia, the microphone. Thank you. Which ones? Um, they are red ones. 
they are twenty-five dollars. Um, chips. Yes, he's in offer. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> she's going to take the offer. Very nice job. <laughs> Ana Maria and Oscar, the cell phones. How most artists are cell phones? Um, which ones? The red ones. Is um, seven five. That's expensive. <laughs> um, sorry. Seller. It's like that's expensive. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, hey, but we, we have an offer and we have this beautiful antique phone on $25. And uh, it's cell phone is beautiful. Um, so? ¿Cómo se le puedo decir que le bajo precio? I will give you a lower price. I will give you a lower price. <clears throat> a lower price. How much? How much? Uh, cuánto es? Cuánto? Cuánto? Is in eleven. Seven dollars. <gasps> That's okay. That's an offer. <laughs> <laughs> Very good job, right? He's going to give you a lower price, right? $7 for the phone. Take it, take it, take it. Claudia and Santos, go ahead with the sunglasses. How much are these sunglasses? Hello. Yes, one we can <clears throat> Which ones? Which one? The pink ones. The pink one. Oh, uh, that is uh, $10. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Hey. <laughs> Take my money, you say. <laughs> Very good. It's yours. Very it's you. nice. Now, <laughs> Let's go with, let me see, Mr. Luis Monzón, are you there? Yes. And yes, yes, it's yes, going yes. to be with Alicia Guadalupe. How much are, the, are these cell phones? Uh, which ones? Uh, the pink cell phone. No, 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 perdón, the orange cell phone. Uh, there are twenty-five dollars. That's a, <laughs> that's expensive. Oh no, it's very nice. <laughs> um, uh -huh. it's okay. Okay, <laughs> give Take me the money. money, please. <laughs> <Give me that. laughs> okay. <clears throat> Remember, the pronunciation say that's expensive, right? Expensive. Expansive is when you can expand to something, right? That's expensive, you say. And remember, if you are talking and you say, hey, how much is, are these sunglasses? And say, which one? The pink one, because you are referring to only one. The pink one. It's only one pair of sunglasses. Which cell phone? The red one. Okay, si solo nos referimos a uno, no puede ser the red ones. Tiene que ser the red one, only one. <clears throat> but if you say the two cell phones, you have to get the price for the two objects, right? And when you say um, that's expensive, right? Expensive is like, whoosh, too much. Uh, that's reasonable. Reasonable means that, yeah, it's a very good price, right? I can pay for it. That's reasonable. That's cheap. Give it to me, right? That's okay. That's not bad. Mr. Edwin, go ahead. 
sorry, I have a doubt about the glasses. Uh -huh. uh, if we are in the in in a shop, uh, so you said that we can say the pink one. Yes, because in that case you are marking the color. Because ah, okay. if, if you cannot touch it, if you cannot tell me this one, if you cannot touch it, you can tell me, ah, the pink ones or the blue ones. Como cuando vamos a la tienda y, y ves los objetos ahí, esos rojos o esos azules, right? The red ones, the black ones, you can use it, <clears throat> right? But, but you uh, say that because you cannot touch it. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, my, my question is, so uh, these are glasses. Uh, we understand that are two. It's plural, huh? Yeah, but uh, uh, it doesn't matter if we are talking a pair of glasses. Okay. Or... <clears throat> I, I get your question. I get your question because the name is plural. Yeah. Yeah, but when you refer to them, it's an object. It's it. Right? And you can, uh, and I understand your doubt because you can say those. Right, yeah. esos, esos. <clears throat> but if you specify the color, you say the pink ones. Ah. The pink ones, and then you make the plural. Okay. Okay. Thank did you. I, did I get? Did I answer your question? Yes. Yeah, yes. Thank Very you. Very good job. Okay. So we are going Teacher. to go. Yes. Perdón. Dice. Entonces, yo tengo una duda. En el caso de que nosotros decimos there, there are eh, y damos el precio eh, también sería así o sea lo, con los lentes y los con los celulares así sea un solo celular decir they are <coughs> that's that was my second my second part when you say <coughs> they are 86 dollars is because it's the cell the sunglasses and it's plural but if you are talking about the cell phone that is singular you say it's 75 dollars it's $25. So in the case of the phone, it will be, it's $25, for example, right? So if you are talking about only one object, you are going to say it's, it's 25, okay? So I am, I am going to include it right here. What about the gray cell phone? How much is it? Uh -huh. Alicia, how much is the gray cell phone? Or, okay, answer, answer. 25. No, the gray one, el grisito. Ah, it's uh, 75. It's 75, 75. you say. It's 75. 75. Good. And the black sunglasses? It's uh, 120. Okay, sunglasses, plural. They are? 120, okay? Just remember, if it is plural, they. If it is singular, it's. Okay. Ask me the question about the markers and the price. Uh, uh -huh. How much are, are these, how uh, do they call it? Markers. Market. Markets. Mark, mark, markers. They are $10 each. <laughs> it's a, okay. <laughs> expensive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Tint <Tintin> invisible. <laughs> they are expensive. Isn't it? That's mm -hmm. cheap. That's reasonable. And if you tell me, Ah, the pink one. Ah, it's five dollars, right? And then I am giving you a specific price for only one object. Let's do the last exercise for today, just for us to clarify a little bit on this one. Let me see. When you talk and when you express sentences about a, this type of, of object when you are buying or something, Pronunciation is very important. You don't say, excuse me. So you say, excuse me, right? Excuse me. And the intonation goes up here in the you, excuse me, 
Can you pronounce it with me? Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Excuse me. They are perfect. They are perfect. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. They are very attractive. They are not very attractive. The first one, excuse me. Excuse me. They are perfect. They are perfect. They are perfect. I like the blue one. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. They are not very attractive. Okay, so now we are going to uh, stop sharing because I want all cameras on, okay? I would like to see all the cameras on because this is the moment for the market, okay? And you are going to sell me one object that you have right there, okay? Me van a vender un producto que tengan ahí cerca, any product. Okay, students, I have this offered for you. This is the new marker, the best marker of the country, and it is only one dollar. <laughs> it's one dollar, right? And I only have two, right? This is the best marker of the market. It's only one dollar. What is the color of the marker? It's gold. As you can see, it's very beautiful. It's gold. It's very nice. If you want to use it in your in your lettering, in your homework, you can get it. I only have two. Who wants the markers? Markers, one dollar, one dollar. Yes, I want it. Okay, Catherine wants one, so I only have only one. Who wants the marker? Uh huh. I could like would like one. Okay, Maria Delia. So I don't have markers anymore. I sell them. <laughs> <laughs> so this. This, because I am touching it, this marker, it's one dollar. So you are going to use the demonstratives and the price. So show me the object and tell me, teacher, this hair clip is 50 cents. Okay. Show me one object. Go ahead. Let me see who wants to start. Catherine, do you have the object? Go ahead. Hello, guys. This guy is a magic. Do you have a do you have a, a little thing? I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> How much is it? That price is uh five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Okay. You know me? <laughs> I want it's more expensive. It's too expensive, you say. But it's a magic. It's a magic cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's it's only one. Yeah. There are no more. Mm. No. In the other time. <laughs> For the next time. <laughs> I will <Yeah>. come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, keep it there. Guardemelo, they say. Keep, keep it for me. <laughs> say, Thank you, Catherine. Well, you know, give me one. Give me the cat. I am going to get it. Thank you, Catherine. What a beautiful thing. Thank you very much. Jaime, what is your object? It's a car. How? How? Okay, car. this car, you say. This car. How much is it? This car. The car is um, $200. $200. That is the it's electrical. Is it is it electrical? Yes. Is it electrical? Good. Do you want another color? <laughs> Do you have another Con color? <laughs> control remoto. <laughs> ah, it has remote control. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. It's good. Work. <laughs> it's work. Okay, it works. Yeah, you see? He's showing that it works. Okay. Mm. Recuerden okay. que aquí todos tienen todos tienen el dinero para comprarlo, so you can get it. <laughs> What oh, can I pay? I want it. Hey, Catherine wants it. <laughs> okay, so Catherine is going to get it. Very nice. I have, I have a five, five 
dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, I, I gave you five hundred dollars. Santos, what is your object? We saw the object some minutes ago there. <laughs> Hey, the microphone. Mouse. The microphone. Mm. Okay. Mr. Santos, the microphone. Okay, Edwin, tell me. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm selling you this chucho. <laughs> <laughs> It's how, for how much one, is it? One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Who wants the yeah. dog? It's a because it's, it's nice. No, but it's um, a girl or a boy. It's a ah, it's a girl. It's I a girl. No, I'm I'm not selling you a truth. <laughs> you no, know, give give me the dog. I mean, someone someone bought it there. Yeah. <laughs> She's very obedient there. Very good. Yeah. Mr. Oscar, what is your object? I'm selling this electric car. It's a Lamborghini. Okay, how much is it? Uh, $25. $25? Who gives? Who is going to get it? Who is going to get it at once? At twice? One. Two, two. two, give it to me. I am going to buy it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me see. Fatima, what is your object? Um, a Coca Cola. Hey, a soda. A soda, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a soda, uh, right? You have a soda. It's, How much is it? It is uh, one dollar. One dollar. Who wants it? One dollar. One dollar? Me. Ah, okay, Catherine. Catherine. Sugar right. free. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Take it. Take it. Let's see. Paola, what is your object? Um, I have this thing uh -huh. And it's five dollars. Okay, what is the what is the object? I cannot I couldn't get it. Hey, we lost Paul. Hmm. Rocio, what is your object? I uh, is a notebook. It's a notebook. How much is it? Five twenty. No, five dollars. Five dollars for the notebook. Who? Who? It's a. Que ya no puedo decir dos. <laughs> it's 2020. You say it's 2020. 2020 year. Okay, okay. It's, it's, from, it's from the last year. Who wants it? Claudia. <laughs> Claudia I wants it. I need a notebook. So Edwin, Edwin needs a notebook. So yeah, it's a, but but one it's cheaper. A <laughs> it's a cheaper one. Paola, are you back? Hi, teacher. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Personal. Okay, good. Hey, nice. How much is it? I have this cup and uh, $3. $3 for the cup. Who wants it? Who? Who? The At once? first. <laughs> <laughs> it's offered. So Rosita wants it. Very good. <laughs> Sandra Maritza, what is your object? The microphone, honey, the microphone. There you go. What's the name? Pañuelo? Handkerchief. 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 I'm going to send it's it in the chat. Handkerchief is magic. It's uh, fabulous. <laughs> It's awesome. Hey, it's an awesome magic yeah, handkerchief. It's the $10. $10? Who? Yes. Once? Two? Three? Who wants it? It's a magic handkerchief. 
like for Harry Potter things. And you disappear. Okay, and give me two. <laughs> <laughs> a handkerchief well students uh, it's time for us to finish i mean time flies when you are making businesses so i am going to see you tomorrow for the class remember to continue reviewing these that these and those so it has been a big pleasure to see you once again say goodbye to your friends you can see everybody there Good, good night. Good night. Say good night. good night to your friends. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Continue advancing in the platform. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.